you've made me a very happy man today. Why don't we have some real fun now that the interview's out of the way, hmm? My little minx. <laughs> Is it just me? Or did Sari-san start getting weirdly into that whole thing at some point? Yeah, she was, uh... It's kind of scaring me towards the end. Anyway, you think Kido's actually gonna show? He'd be a fool not to. I just sent him the footage under Sari-san's name. Said we'd put it online if he didn't show. <laughs> Guess he doesn't have a choice then. Where'd you tell him to go? The batting center. Sugira and Higashi went ahead to keep an eye on the place. What's gotten into you, man? I don't know if I've ever seen you this organized. I can't afford to take my time with this. Okubo-kun's execution date is coming up fast. Yeah, good point. Come on, we should go. Let's hit it. Sugira. Hey, what's up? I'm bringing the van around. You see me? Hmm? There he is. Welcome aboard. Where's Higashi? Already inside. I haven't noticed anything weird out here. Kido should be showing up any minute. And what happens when he does? We'll shove him in the van and drag him over to Charles. What? Igashi's arcade? It's not like we had a lot of time to think about it. We'll interrogate him once we get there. Right, Yagami-san? Yep. And speak of the devil. Huh. Surprised he actually showed. All right, let's move out. <gasps> what are you doing here? Not sure what you mean. My agency is just a couple blocks away. It's strange to see you here, though. What brings you out to Kamrocho? <laughs> well, I... Maybe meeting a seductive journalist? I understand now. You're the ones behind all this. What will you do with that video? Nothing. If you give us what we want. What is it, money? No, we're after something else entirely. What are you going to do to me? We're just taking you for a little trip. No. No, I'm afraid you're not. Hmm? You forget. I'm a powerful man. Huh. Who are these assholes? Health Ministry thugs, if I had to guess. Oh. Do they have them all over the city or something? Delete that video, Yagami!
Stay back. Don't come any closer. <laughs> Look where all that power got you. Nobody's running to help now. Not the ADDC, not the Ministry of Health. I've been waiting a long time for this moment. If you kill me, think what will happen to AD9. Their research will come to a screeching halt! <laughs> Don't worry. Nobody's killing anybody. But I suggest you learn a little humility. I never said I wouldn't hurt you. Come on, we're out of here. Man, it's been a while since I did something like this. Feels good getting back in the group, you know? You always did have a habit of stripping him down. Well, yeah. Everyone's the same underneath all this bullshit. Scientist, doctor, whatever. Listen here. It's not too late for you. But if you don't release me... You'll have your assassin hunt us down? I'll take extensive legal action against you. Huh. Who knows what'd happen if you did that. I might accidentally let that video loose to the press. If that doesn't sound good to you, start talking. You're gonna tell us everything you know about 89. <sighs> this is gonna be a while. Guess we can take turns heading out to grab food. Hey, remind me what we're trying to get out of him? Where we can get proof of the 89 experiments. Whether or not we actually get that proof depends on us. I'm ready when you are, man. Or you want to rough him up some more first? Why me? What do you people want? Who are those guys at the batting center? Well, I... <laughs> you mentioned how powerful you are. Did you hire them to protect you? <sighs> Out with it already. Quit acting like you got any goddamn dignity. You've made me a very happy man today. Why don't we have some real fun now that the interview's out of the way, hmm? My little minx. Who would have thought the scientist who was gonna save the world would have turned out to be some pervy asshole? Your name's gonna go down in history if this gets out. And not how you're hoping. Stop. I'm begging you, please. Who were those thugs at the batting center? Hitmen. On the Ministry of Health payroll. Ichinose's payroll, in other words. That's right. I think you mean, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ichinose-san knows I've been abducted. More of them could rush in here any minute if you don't release me. <laughs> if you haven't noticed, we've got this whole fighting thing pretty down by now. <sighs> Next question. It's about what happened three years ago. Huh? An Alzheimer's patient at the ADDC by the name of Wakusan was murdered. His body found buried far out in the mountains. At the time, Shinpei Okubo was thought to be the killer. But the truth is, it was an unforeseen consequence of 89, which Shono had administered to this Wakusan. You knew, didn't you? What? Cat got your tongue? 
Guess you're about to become internet famous then. <laughs> Wait! Answer me, Keto! Yes! I knew. Who told you? When? How? I'm sorry. I can't say any more than that. If I did, I... Please, just give me some time to figure things out. Time's one thing I don't have. Shinpei Okubo's about to get executed for a murder he didn't commit. What? I need to get every last bit of information out of you right here. I'll even resort to torture if I have to. Torture? You'd break the law over this? What? That doesn't sound fun to you? Of course not! Then start talking! <laughs> Nobody's gonna come help you now. I'll give you a chance to think it over. You better be ready by the time I come back. Kido's already a broken man. My guess? At this point, he's just desperate to save his own skin. Yeah, I guess so. Maybe you should take a breather. I'm sure giving Kido some time to stool will make him realize talking's the only option. We'll keep an eye on him in the meantime. Thanks, Sugira. I appreciate it. Hey, even a guy like you needs to take breaks. You've been up and out all freaking day. <laughs> 